very early in the morning and the crane stuff has arrived like 6 30 i think that's early so today's the day that we are going to float wildcat island very exciting let's hope it works out okay i look a mess so 10 to 7 on a beautiful uh morning and uh, we are quietly unloading a whole bunch of stuff to make a road for the big crane which you can see in the distance to get close enough to lift the pod wildcat island onto its pontoon beautiful day no wind perfect the good thing about modern lorries and cranes is that they are quite quiet compared to the old ones this one's turned off at the moment but it's actually blocking out the sun <laughs> goes on and on oh my goodness me I think it's going to work doing that so they can 
attached cameras to everything. Yeah. Shows you how big it is. So how how are they lifting it then, Simon? They're not putting straps around it like they've done before. What are they doing? Well, they've, you see, they've slid those lifting beams into four of the you've got the square cross beams yeah. underneath. They've slid those in. These spreader bars are to stop it squeezing in when you lift it. Because if you didn't have them, when you pulled it up, it would actually the straps sides, would it, it might pop it like an egg. Oh my god! So that's why they've got those. That's keeping it. A distance apart they'll turn it round and then the other ones that are just lifting off the ground now will go either side and then they've got two straps at each end so there's eight straps on it in total wow. it's the same arrangement they used when they took it off the lorry with the hire it's funny i don't remember it being like that but it must have been they had a different they had a, a single uh spreader beam which was like an x and that did the job that these three bits are doing okay and we've got the bigger one because it's got a swing so far. What, the crane or the...? The crane. Yeah. Oh, no, You've no, lost no. the strap this side. Yeah. Do you feel a slight bit nervous at all? Because I'm feeling quite well. I'm... Yeah, as long as no one's underneath there. The worst that will happen is it insured? Right. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember if we told the insurance company we were doing this. I'm sure. <laughs> the pods. <laughs> Let's see. No longer will we be drinking gin and tonic in the middle of this floating pontoon because it's now something on top of it. Well, we might because we'll just be inside. So it's levelled up a bit. Simon. Simon, it's not quite straight. It moved when you got on it, Mark. <laughs> Go on, one more. <laughs> How do you feel floating your pod is working? Well, it's still floating, <laughs> but no, good, good. It looks nice, looks nice, fits in, fits in. So I think I think it's gone okay, isn't it? Do you think you'll float more? I hope so. I do hope so. It's uh, a bit of a challenge. Don't mind a bit of a challenge. So we'll see, see, see how it goes. See how it goes. Cheers.
you not need a life jacket, Simon, in case it sinks? Steve says it's going to be fine, you say it's going to be fine. There's Justine. That's the perfect size seat for See, at the moment it's still on the um, side. Tide yeah. coming in or going out? Both in. Look at that. Honestly, good. Oh my goodness. Can, no I idea say, can I just say that floats more level than the rest of it? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Now you're going to run out of. Coast. Put a big splash in a minute. Can you get this? Yeah. Pontoon? It's attached to Misterton. Misterton is keeping it up that way. I hope Simon isn't going to break both floating homes, that's all I can say. My vision was by the end of the day this would be on the riverfront. Going down. Working. <laughs> 